Hello, thank you so much for joining me for another Women Crush Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about Lee Miller, who was an esteemed war correspondent for Vogue during World War II. Number one, Lee was born in 1907 in New York and was quickly introduced to the world of photography by her father, Theodore. He would often use Lee as his model and would often show her and her brothers the technical side of photography. Fact number two, Lee's career started when she almost stepped in front of a car in New York and was rescued by Condé Nast, the publisher of Vogue. Nast was struck by her beauty and charm and very quickly she became a model. She actually ended up becoming one of the most sought after models in New York because she was what the editor-in-chief editor of Vogue at the time called the perfect modern girl. Two years later, Kotex ended up using a picture of Lee without her permission to advertise their menstrual pads which ended up ending her fashion career. In 1929, she decided to travel to Paris, where she wanted to apprentice with the surrealist photographer, Man Ray. Now, Man Ray confronted her and said, no, I do not take on any students, and she refused to be told no, and said, I am now your student. She went on to become his muse and his lover, and many of the photographs that were taken during that period and are credited to Ray are actually her work, of course, because she's a woman. <laughs> she even helped him develop the photographic technique of solarization, which is something that Ray is very famous for. Fact number three, Lee was a mesmerizing person and surrounded herself with incredible people, including Pablo Picasso and Jean Cocteau, who once coated her in butter in order to transform her into a classical statue for his film, The Blood of a Poet. In 1932, she returned to New York in order to establish a commercial photography studio. Over the next few years while she lived in New York, her work was featured amongst other great photographers like Margaret Burke White, and she had the only solo exhibition of her life in 1933 in thanks to curator Julian Levy. In 1934, she ended up getting tired of New York and decided to move to Egypt with her new husband, the businessman, Aziz Eloise Bey. By 1937, she got sick of Cairo and decided to move back to Paris and then settled in London for a little bit. Fact number four, when World War II broke out, Lee refused to return home and ended up starting her career as a war correspondent for Vogue. She ended up teaming up with life correspondent David E. Sherman. One of her most famous collaborations with Sherman is an image of Lee sitting in Hitler's bathtub after she wiped her muddy boots all over his pristine white bath rug. Now Lee herself ended up capturing a lot of very iconic moments throughout the war, including the Blitz of London, the first use of napalm, the liberation of Paris, and the horror of the Nazi concentration camps at Buchenwald and Dachau. Lee was wrapped with clinical depression and PTSD after the war, and after she became pregnant, by her friend, the British poet Roland Penrose, she ended up divorcing Bay and marrying Roland. Their son, Anthony, was born in 1947. Her life was no less colorful after the war, and she ended up being investigated for over a decade by the British security service, MI5, because they suspected her of being a Soviet spy. Fact number five. Lee did very little to promote her own photography and went so far as to hide a lot of the photographs that she took during the war. When asked by the New York Times what drew her to photography, she said that it was a matter of getting out onto a damn limb and sawing it off behind you. We only know about most of her work because of her son's tireless efforts to conserve and promote her photographs. In 1977, she died of cancer and he ended up finding over 60,000 photographs, love letters, and journals that he has used in order to preserve and promote his mother's memory. Thank you so much for joining me for another Woman Crush Wednesday to learn all about Lee Miller, this incredible woman who did so much to capture and preserve different iconic moments in World War II and in history after that.